back to the Rambling Man Show. McClunky. Thank you, Greedo. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to say? McClunky. Okie dokie. <laughs> Who's the best co-host that you've ever worked with? McClunky. As in McCauley. <laughs> McClunky. <laughs> McCauley McCulky. <laughs> oh, bald ball. From Istanbul. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> he looks a bit like Greedo. Sure. <laughs> well, if you use your imagination, that is, anyway. Jeez. I don't remember the thing for this guy. Um, he's big. <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh! That? Oh, star hit. Um, yeah, no, I can't remember ball, ball, ball. I thought, I thought Great Tiger was actually the final boss. Um, ball, 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 ball. Fuck. Fucking Nora. Yeah, he's a hard hitter. That's why he's the champion. We will get to Mike Tyson. And I won't beat him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Plus Ultra! <laughs> <laughs> God, that camel was up to eight before he got back. <laughs> oh, God. Fantastic. That makes me feel good inside, though. Good inside. <laughs> uh, what the oh, I remember this. I have to fucking. Uh! Nope. Yeah, you actually hit him on the jump or something, wouldn't you? Yeah, I don't know which one it is though, or what kind of punch it has to be. Second, and it's probably an uppercut. It's a headshot for sure. So there's. No. Um, I don't know which jump it is. Is it like on the third jump? Like just in, while he's in the air at the end of it? I don't remember. I, d I don't remember it specifically. Um, so there's, there's a, what am I, I don't, have I ever, have I ever spoken about the Bon Jovi opposite band? No. So, so SNL, I'm going to talk about SNL again. Um, oh, hey little Mick, maybe Doc should throw you a towel or maybe a little skirt because you're a little girl. McClunky. McClunky. Uh. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, so so uh, Jason Stakus and Will Forte um, created this bit that was sort of semi-regular on uh, Weekend Update from time to time called the Bon Jovi Opposite Band called uh, uh, John John Bovi. Okay. <laughs> and they would uh, rather than doing the devil horns, they do their their two their two fingers in the middle like that. <laughs> okay. And they're like that. Um, and rather than like bad medicine, like they would take all of his songs, all their songs, and like just turn them opposite. Like you've got rather than bad medicine, you've got good medicine. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm stuck. He's like, your love is like good medicine. Good medicine is what I need because I'm healthy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's just, it's really silly things like that. Oh, yeah. Um, and I love it. And I love it. And I love it. And McClanky. <laughs> I got a title back for McClanky. Oh, my God. This, this, this strawberry, this strawberry licorice is so <laughs> This strawberry licorice, master one. <laughs> Oh, Greedo. You are a Greedo. And a very bug like Greedo. The Mandalorian looks really good, though, doesn't it? Yeah, I really wish I could see it. Yeah, I'm shocked that he's only out in America. Canada and Japan at the moment. Yeah, we get it in like March, thank you for that. I don't know why it's so delayed. 
That is weird, but especially because it stayed a long time as well. Yeah. Fuck. Maybe it's a territory thing. Maybe. I mean, it still surprises me that some Netflix stuff's region locked. Really? There's a bunch of stuff on, like, American Netflix that we don't get. What? Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm, I'm glad I don't know what it is, because otherwise I'd be up to see it. Because I bet there'd be probably something there. I'd be like, oh, Probably. I, I, off the top of my head, I know there's loads of anime. Well, well that doesn't bother But I know you're not a massive anime fan. No. Just like a specific, like a select few. Manga. I've been told that I like manga. Do you? No. Have you got any manga? No. I do. I don't oh, know no, you do, because you like tentacle porn. Alright. That's what manga's about, isn't it? Some of it is. Manga! What are we doing? I got TKO'd. Again? This fucker's hard, man. Daniel! Damn! <laughs> You're getting absolutely McClanky. I'm absolutely McClanky. I'm absolutely McClanky. I, um. Have to, you have to say that. I mean, like, when you look at a game like this, it's like, it doesn't look hideous, does it? No, it's. And well done. Like, and but then, like, when you look at a game like, say, like Death Stranding. I mean, have you seen any gameplay of that yet? Fuck, I fucked it up. Um, I've seen a little bit, but not much. Like that looks absolutely gorgeous. Mental, how good that game. Was. Yeah. They put Norman Reedus in it. And Guillermo del Toro. And oh, what's his name? Um, Mick, uh, Mick, Maddle, Mick Maddleson. Max. Mick Middleston. Yeah, that guy. Max, Max Maddleston. Bing Bingleburn. Bing, Bing Bong Biggle McClunky and... <sighs> Don't know how to punch this fucker. Um, and Monster Energy Drink. What, is that in Death Stranding? Yeah. Actually, as in the cans, the brand Monster Energy, yeah. Why? Lord, maybe maybe Monster Fueled Kojima whilst he made it, I suppose. Maybe. I have no idea how to time that. Kojima, yeah, but Kojima works in, in mysterious ways to the fact of if Monster Energy Drink was like the drink that he was drinking, he'd probably put them in there as a... Oh, yeah, he probably put all sorts of weird stuff in there. Yeah. As a sort of nod to be like, oh, yeah. there you go. Oh. I'm watch. I'm currently watching um, Jack Septicai, uh play it, and he does mm. like big two hour like episodes. I think with that game, you need to. A lot of people say that it's a very slow start. It is like, um, super slow. Like I'm, I'm not gonna. I don't want to say too much because obviously it's still a new game and stuff. But, mm. um, but it's definitely so like. If, you know, if this is what Kojima's been working on, then, my God, like, yes, he deserves every inch of, more, like, every inch of respect he should get, like, moving, well, after being, was he fired from? Yes, I believe he was fired. Do we know why? Uh, or was that never disclosed? Uh, I'm sure there was some kind of legally statement that they made up, but I don't know what the actual reason was. Why? I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google it. Why Kojima is Konami? Uh, Let stated that they were auditioning a new staff for the future Metal Gear titles and removed Kojima's name from the series marketing material. Despite reports that Kojima left the company in October 2015, a spokesman for Konami said he was taking a long time off from work. Well, that sounds sketchy, doesn't it? Isn't that crazy that, like, the man that creates Metal Gear... Gets dropped from the project. Yeah, and it's just like, wow. And you know what's funny as well? What? The first game, Metal Gear game they produced after he left is crap. Was that number five? 
No, it's the one, um, that really crap Metal Gear Survive game they made. Oh, yeah! That was, like, the, the first thing they did without him, and it's, like, awful. Yeah. I mean, I never really got into the series, but apparently... I mean, that one looked really bad. I've I've played everything up to number three. I never had the privilege of playing four mm. or Phantom Pain. Not that I would want to play Phantom Pain, but I would want to play number four because... The other one was like Rise of the Patriots or whatever it's called. Yeah. Yeah. Because that one sort of brings everything full circle from the first three games. That was meant to be like the the big like um, finale of the main story, I guess. Yeah. And everything else was like, fuck's sake. That's... Oh my lord. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so that's, that's what I want to play. Mm. Because I want that sort of... Like, I have watched stuff and whatever but I, I want to personally play it but the problem is I don't have a PlayStation to <laughs> play on yeah so it's kind of like oh okay like which, which is fine um it's just sort of like one of them things that I will eventually somehow get round to doing it maybe I don't know because obviously it's quite a big commitment as well like any Metal Gear Solid game is a commitment um especially if you play it well, you either play it for leisure or save for the show. Yeah. You know, you've got to then kind of do it service by obviously allowing the story to, pla uh, to play out. I would love to play Snake Eater on the show. I would love to play Snake Eater. Mm. I've, I've, tr I did, I've tried playing um, S Metal Gear Solid and uh, Snake Eater, but they've just not... I've just not really gelled with them, I guess. Wow. But then again, I suppose it's the same, like, I never got into Final Fantasy. I love Final Fantasy. Exactly, like, <laughs> and you love it. I just, like, I suppose it's good knowing that we have different, different tastes. Yeah. Like that, I suppose. But, yeah, no, no, no. Like, I, see, I, I, but then I'm, I suppose I, w I, I would like to understand the lore of, um, What's that game called? Which one? The one you just said. Final Fantasy. Yeah, that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> um. But I find like the. I don't. I don't know what it is. I think it's like the sort of like. The surrealism of Metal Gear Solid. Oh, excuse me. But the also sort of quite abs like the many absurdities that happen. In Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. You know? Like, with the different, like, bosses and just the sort of, like, everything seems real up until you face a boss or something like that that's got, like, this crazy power. And oh, you're like, yeah. You're like, like, what? Like, but, and then, and then it goes back to the, the, stealthy espionage combat and you're like oh that's cool and then you find someone else and they've got like some sort of crazy ass power isn't there literally someone who shoots bees in that game yes that's the pain that's his name the pain oh you've got the fury who is a cosmonaut that has flamethrowers yeah of course you've got the the pain which he shoots bees the end who is a really old guy that is a sniper and he basically is comatose until he decides to wake up and then when he does wake up he's like really fast and like the best sniper in the world mm. um, and he has a parrot as well that if in the nice. in, if in the cutscene when you see him getting wheeled like he's in a wheelchair basically getting wheeled into this base if you shoot his parrot then he, in the boss fight you actually have with him he won't have his parrot to spot for him <laughs> yeah it's, it's very clever oh isn't there a thing like that as well in uh... I did it <laughs> oh my god you know what the way to do it is how it's not an uppercut <laughs> oh <laughs> whoops <laughs> Why are you telling me you've only just not tried doing an uppercut now? Because I've not had a lot of chances to actually try the different timings on that yeah. one. Yeah. 
So I figured I'll Ooh. try doing a body shot instead of an uppercut. And it worked. Yeah. What were you going to say about Metal Gear? Isn't there a boss that if you race through a, p a certain part of a level, mm -hmm. you can you can snipe one of the enemy bosses at the like really early on, and then he, they don't turn up later because they're already dead. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's the thing. Like you can rush forward and kill someone like way before like you're meant to. Yeah, I imagine so. I can't remember which one. That it sounds is. very legitimate. Oh no, you can do that with the end. Oh, is it that guy? You can do that with the end, or if you want to fight him, you can. Or if you, um, if you set the, uh, if you set your, your clock on your console ahead by, like... Oh, yeah, he doesn't, he just die. He dies of old age. <laughs> yeah. Which I think is fantastic. So silly. Um, yes, yeah, so you got the fury, uh, the pain, um, the end... Uh, you got the fear, oh, fuck. who is um, um, it's okay. You like you're in a better standpoint now. You now you know it's a body shot. Mm. Um, and you got the fear, who is basically just a phantom that actually is a, of a guy who did die. Um, and in his like thing, depending on how many people you've killed, like when you're walking up this river. Oh, and they all appear. Yeah, mm. but like the more people you kill, then the more people appear. Which, and obviously, the less people you kill, the less people appear. Which is actually also pretty cool. Um, you've got the boss, which is B boss, big, big boss, big boss. That is big boss. Yeah, she's uh, she's she's a part of it. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anyone else I've missed. I don't think there is, other than the thunderbolt guy, but he's not. A part of that trio, he's like, yeah, uh, he, he's like a separate guy. He's not a part. Of, he's not a part of like the, the 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 clan, if that makes sense. Um, let me look it up. Sneaky turn. Oh, I'm trying to punch when I put this down. Pay attention, Dan. I also love the theme tune to Snake Eater. If you put that on, I would sing the shit out of that. <laughs> oh, Colonel Volgin, that's it. Isn't he the big shaman dude? No, Colonel Volgin is the electric dude. Oh. Um, yes, yeah, you got the boss, the end, the fury. Oh, it's the sorrow. Oh, I do apologise. Oh. I thought it was the. Fe oh no, there is a there is a guy called the fear. Oh, okay. So what the? F what? So who the fuck's the fear compared to the sorrow? Oh, you mixing two people up? Yeah. What? What? Um. Oh, bitch. The boss. Oh my god, big boss. The end. Shit. Shit. It's okay, Dan. Oh. oh. Hold on. Who did I say? Oh, uh, you said the fear. Did I say the fear as already a person or you Who said. Did I say the B guy was. Uh, the, the, the pain. pain. I did. Yeah, yeah, no, that's the fear. Oh, the he's the fucking fear. hell. Yeah, the B guy is the fear, which is kind of weird, but hmm. I can see, I can see why. Right, he's like, that's a fat as shit, a boss. That's a fat as shit, a boss. I think it's crazy that this bald guy is giving you so much problems. If I could go back in time, and I'd be like, listen here, you fucks. If, if I could find a way here. 
the clanky. Uh, I'm gonna just be listening to fucking McClunky memes now. <gasps> oh my god, what if, you know, you know that, that Mickey Mouse thing? Hold on, what happened? Yeah, he just comes in. McClunky. <laughs> <gasps> McClunky. <laughs> McClunky. Please stay down. You uh, fat fuck! You fat fuck! Uh, you Jezebel! You have to plan your hits better, Daniel. I thought I was going to do the roly poly thing. Nope. I'm going to give you two more attempts. Before what? Before I end this. That's not fair. No, it's not. This is pretty fair, to be honest with you, because it's been going on for too long. It has been. Has been, has bro. Oh, Dan. What? I just wish you would suck my nipple. Guess what I bought? What did you buy? I bought baked Alaska ice cream. Baked Alaska ice cream. He does my star punch. Well, maybe you should do better with Plus Ultra. How about that? Fuck, I can't. Ugh. I think you can. You're just electing not to. Yeah, that's it. What? Oh! <laughs> oh, the Jesus. Right, you, if you knock him down in this round, then you're going to be in a better standpoint. Trust me. That's it. Well done. Okay. Right. Now you need to knock him out before he knocks you out. Yeah. I don't even come back with all his health back. Well then don't be a puss. That isn't... That is... That is... Okay, right. Body shot. Yeah! Look at that, Daniel. You're doing exactly what I told you to do. Aren't you... Aren't you? Yeah! Check you out! Hitting the bull guy! Here we go! Pa pa pow! Oh, this is odd. Is it? Oh! oh titties on biscuits! Oh, sweet pepe on oh, rah! Oh my god! You did it! Oh, my name's Little Mac. My name's Little Mac. Now it is night time. I am Little Mac. I am dog. I'm a potato in a sock. Socky potato. <laughs> Socky potato. Socky potato. Socky potato. I swear the Statue of Liberty was holding the torch in her other hand. Nah, maybe. My boy. Oh, six four one seven three one seven five three three. Remember my pass key. Yeah, he. Was that Piston Honda? Yeah. I thought we already beat him. We did. So what is he doing back? I don't know. What? Now what are you doing? We've got to end the episode. A Piston Honda. Let me have this fight. Okay, fine. I'll let you have this fight. He's gonna kick the shit out of me. I'm shocked. At... Unless this is just a, a bout of... Ah. Ah. How could he be here, but yet you just won the title? Surely that would mean that he's had to have gone through you to get to here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because this is the world circuit? I don't know. Um, oh, what the fuck? That was a new move! Unavoidable chin move! Oh my god. I don't know how to beat him. That was mental. He was all over the place. I don't know either, Daniel. Oop. Ah, just too early. Jeez. Oh, damn! You just got taken down by the Honda Man! <laughs> Little Mac, that was too close. Oh. 
I don't know what to do. Ah! Ah! Go, go, ah! Go, ah! Go. Ah! I'm too... I'm too fragile. I'm weak! I'm weak! <laughs> oh, man. My stamina was not coming back there. Little man. Holy Jesus Christ. Holy Bahorgas. He went mental. He did. And the next time on the Rambling Man Show, you may never know what happened. Except ever seeing this screen all the time. Did you save it? Yeah, so I just loaded from Are you happy? And I know it. Perfect. Next time on the Rambling Man Show. Next time things will happen. And there'll be more McClanky. Yes, there will. Bye, everyone. Goodbye.